Welcome back to the Kent Battle of Britain Museum at Hawkinge. We're the 18th of May 2023. In front of me is the Spirit of the Few monument, which was unveiled last year on the 29th of July 2022, the 82nd anniversary of the photograph being taken. The unveiling was carried out by the next of kin of six of the seven airmen, and at 12.30, the time we think the photograph was taken. We worked that out by shadows on the original photograph, taken by Fox Photos, about 100, 150 yards away over my right shoulder. If you come and visit, if you look at Keith Gilman's watch, you'll see it's 12.30 on his watch. As we say, we think that's the time the photograph was taken. The Spirit of the Few is uh, proving to be one of our main attractions this year, together with the Junkers JU-52 that we've restored over the, the last winter. It was a four month restoration, carried out by the volunteers, mostly in the car park in all weathers, because the sheer, sheer size is too big to even be stripped down and painted in the hangar. So at the moment it's outside. What we are hoping to do is in about two years time, we'll be acquiring about just under two acres of land adjacent to the museum. And that's when the aircraft outside will go under cover, except for the replica hurricanes that form the backdrop to the spirit of the few. Anyway, the museum is open. It's open Tuesdays to Sundays, 10 till five, last entry by four o'clock. We close Mondays except bank holidays. So we've got the 29th of May bank holiday and we've got the August bank holiday coming up. So hopefully you'll come and visit the museum. Allow yourself a good couple of hours to visit. If you're interested in the subject, you'll need a lot longer. We've also got the number 25 squadron mess and tea rooms, which is lovely. So you can get anything from a full English breakfast to a lunch to a cup of tea and homemade cake. Um, you'll probably hear some banging in the background. We've got two more days, today and tomorrow, finishing the staircase into the JU-52. And then that will be available for groups, particularly school groups uh, and kids club, um, Cubs and Scouts, I'm going to use it as an educational facility to educate the, the next generations to come through to learn about the subject. So anyway, thank you for joining me, Dave, at the Kent Battle of Britain Museum, and we hope to see you soon.